Hey, 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 what's up, Arlen Dayers? I'm here with another video, and we are reacting to Bill Burr, no reason to hit a woman. How women argue from you people are all the same. Let's check it out. You know what the maddest she ever got me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers because she didn't dry the can opener up properly, you know? It's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who is like white feeders watching? For, oh, fuck! Ah, now I get it. I'm sick to eat these sweetheart. Here we go. There you go. Oh. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion that like there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You can wake me from a drunken stupor, I can still give you like nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and Oh, see, he's telling the truth. There's plenty of reasons to hit anybody. You just don't do it, you know? Suggest that there's no reason. So the level of ego behind that statement. Are you levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. <laughs> Wait a minute, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day! There you go! Every day! You didn't do it, right? Oh, so it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You gotta move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's gonna stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. <laughs> I mean, if I if I purchase a house or if I'm paying off a house and it's in my name, it's my house. We're gonna divorce, and you fuck the next door neighbor while I was at work. For that, and that and that money is contributing to paying off a house I own anyways, and you just live there, not on the lease and nothing, but we're married, we're going to divorce, you're leaving, I'm staying in my house. <clears throat> Alright, that was a hypothetical. <clears throat> you want an actual story? I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Alright, I fucked up my foot playing drums. Trying to get my bass drum forward as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this this is gonna lead me to the light, right? This this, this is what I need to do. So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I played for like an hour, and afterwards I felt like a literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing, like I'm not going to the hospital, I'll sleep it off, be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I gotta walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it, my foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl, I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why are you always gonna like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? Just say no. You're just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? Now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's. Fuck, fuck you, bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in. You're just gonna do whatever the hell you want to do, right? And fuck me. Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs>
Alice is trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, work like a charm. Work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. Oh, one of the highlights of the relationship. I knew what she was saying. It's like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes up, poof, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurts. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it. Put them on third time. She comes up. Poof, slaps them. He said caveman T. Honey, I don't want to talk about it. Right across the room. And I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. There. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. Make your point. This is, this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really, is that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that at that place. You say there's no reason, you cut out the build-up, you just left with the act. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like, what? Oh! Oh, he! Oh! Talking around like I'm not fucking taking a fucking hit. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? Answer him! Answer him! Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. Oh. Talking about. Oh. Oh. Oh, you savage. About hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. The savagery, the savagery. <laughs> this man is a strange savage. What the hell? That is insane. Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? Right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. Firemen put out a fire and they don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an all of French then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, two in a casserole, and just start swinging, all right? I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> Oh my goodness, he's kind of telling the truth though, like, when it comes to that type of stuff, like, they, they have a, like, they, the policy in America when it comes to, like, domestic abuse for the most part is, is, um, no asking any questions, like, if a man hits a woman and she calls the police, 
uh, the dude automatically gets arrested for the most part. But, like, they don't ask what led up to that. Did the girl pull a gun out on the man? Is that why he tried to defend himself? Did she try to pull a knife out? Um, did she hit him with a broom in the head or something? Like, ass whoopings don't fall out of nowhere like this guy's saying. So there's some truth to that. I'm not saying she hit a woman. I'm just saying, I do think if it has something to do with defending your life, I feel like you do have the right to fight a woman in a way. Like, if she pulls a gun out on you, best believe you should try your best to, like, apprehend her at all costs even if it means knocking her upside the head somehow like but I don't think you should just hit a woman like if you get off work you have a bad day and you just start hitting on your woman and abusing her that's fucked up for sure so I see what he means really even hockey has two minutes for instigating right? they understand that some back and forth happened before that shit you know It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. Just say it, dude, in your heart of hearts. What do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. 
I went out like a man, the champagne of victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that guy is hilarious alright guys if you enjoyed that video make sure you subscribe for more videos and stuff like that if you want to see more thank you so much and uh peace